what's up y'all Jay Aesthetics here back with another video and as you can tell from the title right um I swear I say the same opening sentence I look so dark hold on let me get my little ghetto light oh hold on yeah this gonna work um but as y'all can tell from the title we'll be back with another back video you feel me now this back video is a lot of it's pretty heavy weight um, basically how it's gonna be, um, I'm gonna just be in the corner. Y'all gonna have the nice big old screen to watch. Um, so basically how it started off, I did five wide grip, then I did five just how it is on the screen right now, then I'm gonna do five underhand, three sets of that just to warm up. I always like to warm up with some pull-ups because I feel like they're, if you don't do pull-ups on back day, are you really doing back day? Probably not. So um, yeah, if I look tired, it's definitely because I am tired right now. It is actually one o'clock in the morning. I just got out the shower. I'm still taking cold showers. Um, like I haven't taken a warm or hot shower in like four or five months, something like that. But I took a cold shower to kind of wake myself up because I'm actually tired. But I know I had to just get this content out there because I've been slacking on YouTube videos, but don't worry. I'm back now, we're about to hit 10K. Then I'm about to hit a million the next day. So yeah. Um, so like I said, I did three sets of that, and here's me stretching out because obviously it hurt. Then I just, I don't know. But um, this, I usually don't use this handle on it. Um, the full workout will be in the description, by the way. You already know I always do that for y'all. So if you want to follow along, the full workout will be in the description and everything like that. But I usually do not use this, the extension, or what's it called? The hand, we'll say the handle. The handle on this machine. But I saw it laying around and I was like, wait, that looks like it would work pretty well. So what I end up doing is putting it on there, right? Um, and choosing a weight, right? And I just started pulling. And it was the best feeling I ever had in my entire life. Like, the, I don't know what it is about. Maybe it's like the whip, because you know not the regular V bar. It's kind of tight. Then you have the lat pulled on versus wide. This is like a perfect in the middle and I really like it. And what I did, I started with a lighter weight and did 15. Then next set, I went up weight and I did 12. Then the next set, I did 10, went up the weight. Then the last set, I did eight and went up the weight. So yeah, like I said, it's it's not even like that much of a volume type of day. It's really a lot of heavy or um, lifting than I would usually do. It might not be heavy for you powerlifters that be rowing 10,000 pounds. Or seven i didn't by the way i did not row at all in this video i did dumbbell row but um i didn't do bent over rows or anything like that i just feel like dumbbell row is a lot better in my opinion just like i like dumbbell um presses over bench press i just feel like you can isolate each side each side has to work equally as hard rather than you know if you're bench pressing you could be a lot stronger on your right arm and it could do more, more of the work than your left arm then you'll become disproportionate disproportionate that's not a word unproportionate that's the word. Um, so yeah, that's why I like to do more dumbbell movements instead of, um, I just burped, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, instead of um, barbell movements. I should make like a video that's like um, barbell versus dumbbell and just like go in depth on why I do it. I kind of just gave like an overview right there, but I feel like that video would be nice. Leave a like right now if you want to see that video. Um, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. I look really tired. Oh, I didn't even explain this workout. I do this workout a lot now. Um, one arm cable rows, what are they called? One arm, one arm seated rows. Um, you start with your hand just like this, then when you bring it back, you gotta turn it, really squeeze it in the back. Um, the weight I did is pretty heavy. Make sure when you go out, you let your, your body stretch out, your lats stretch out, just how you see me doing it right here. So you get the full stretch. You should feel it when your arm is out. You should feel a stretch right around here. Um, and yeah, this workout is, this one right here, I started doing about two or three months ago and I really liked it. It really helps me, um, like, you know, like there's workouts, right? Where you can, why are you just walking in my shot, lady with the purple pants? I know they see me recording and they still, never mind. But you know, like workouts where, you know, you can, let's say if you're doing a bench press. You'll feel it in your chest, but you can also feel it in your tricep, right? Just because, you know, bench pressing is a chest. It's mostly for a chest workout, but depending on where your arms are, you can feel it in your triceps more. Um, 
But with that workout that I was just doing, I really only felt it in my back, which was amazing. It's absolutely amazing to know when you're isolating a muscle, um, you know, mind muscle connection. This, that is a very valuable thing. Um, and then this here, like I said, I was just doing bent over rows. I think I did the hundreds. The first set, <laughs> I was only supposed to be doing sets of seven, I believe it was six or seven. But then um, my brother did a set and he was able to do the same. Well, he did the same amount of reps or he did six or something like that. And I was like, I'm not doing that. So I ended up doing three sets of 10 instead of three sets of six. So yeah, you know, then I superset it with this um lap pull down lap push downs i believe that's what it's called that's what i call it um and i like doing it with the rope i used to do it with the bar the straight bar but i like doing it with the rope because i feel like just like with the um, tricep extension you can move it out and spread it out to really get that extra inch of um movement to really uh you know get the squeeze you feel me but same thing with this you want to let it go up so you can squeeze, no, not squeeze. So you can feel the stretch and stretch out your lats because we're trying to grow, my guy. We're trying to fly away. If you want wings, listen to what I'm saying. Look at the guy on the left right now. He's about to take my spot. You see him changing the thing right now. And um, just let you know, I did get kicked out of the gym because I did punch him in his face. The snow cap right there. After I did this set, see, I turned around, I saw him. You see that look? See, I shook my head. I was like, nah. He's about to get it after I do these rolls. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm really just rambling about a whole bunch of nothing. But um, yeah, like I said, it's this day is more of a heavier day. Like usually I wouldn't roll the 100s. Um, that's a lie, I think I only roll the 100s. I definitely just lied. I definitely always roll the 100s. Like single arm row, I always do the 100s just cause it's a nice number to look at. Um, I ended up going to the cable machine on the side to do my superset like you're seeing here and like I said you want to make sure it's far enough far enough back away from the machine so that when your arms go up you can stretch out your lats and really try and keep your arms as straight as possible when you're bringing it down so you can eliminate your tricep in it even though you can kind of see my tricep flex right here a little bit but it's because hey man I don't know but um yeah so keep your arms as straight as possible to really target the lat area so we can fly away. How many sets did I do? The whole workout will be in the description. Don't worry about it. Um, I like that do-rag. I want like a light green do-rag. That's like a, like a Christmas tree colored do-rag. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. And then this is not a do-rag video, but it wrinkles. You see in the back how it wrinkles up. I don't like that. I don't know if this one does it. I just got out the shower and I just got a haircut. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, under this do rag, I look like a snack. No homo. Like, I was looking in the mirror, I was like, wow, I should really do a wave reveal. Get this video to 10 million likes and I'll do a wave reveal right now. Like the video, bro. Share it to your million friends so we can just hurry up and do that. I really look like I'm about to die, bro. Look at me crying in the video. Look at my face. But um, as you guys can probably tell if you watch any of my other videos, I really like to superset. Like supersetting is one of the best things ever invented in the world. That's no cap right there. That was so lame. But yeah, supersetting is, in my opinion, it's it's like the icing on the cake, right? The cake is good. The cake is good by itself. But icing on top, it just makes it perfect, right? I just feel like it, especially when you um, superset a heavy with a light, I feel like you can go that extra mile to help tear your muscle that much more or get closer to that breaking point or that max point where you go heavy and then you hit it with a nice little high rep um, low weight workout and this right here I usually finish off with pull-ups but I want to finish off with this so I just did 20 of these you just get a bench bar th not a bench bar thing uh what are those little seat things called I don't know you get something to put your feet on and then you get either on a smith machine or a regular machine and you pull up keep your body straight pull just like you're doing a pull-up but it's like a 
reverse push-up kind of positioning. Yeah. And I ended off with three sets of that, and now the video's over. So now you're just going to be looking at me. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I want you to make sure that you press that like button at this point in your life. And I, after you do that, I want you to drop a comment and say, um, fly away. That's what I want you to do. So drop a like right now. Then right after that, drop a comment that says, fly away. F-L-Y. I felt English. F-L. I don't know how to spell it. Um, that was a joke. I know how to spell it. But um, that was a bad joke. I'm going to stop rambling, but turn on the post notifications. That's step three. Now you got to subscribe. So subscribe first, then turn on the post notifications. And I'm going to see you on the next video, man. Make sure you're subscribed because we about to hit 10K. And when we hit 10K, I'm not accepting any more subscriptions because we're going straight to a million. Don't ask me how I'm going to do it if I'm not accepting any more subscriptions. Ship, ship. I'm going to just stop talking. Bye. That's it, friend.